In the northern part of Italy is the region known as Veneto, home to the cities of Venezia and Padova, an area that is steeped in historic tradition. In Venezia, or Venice, great art and architecture are everywhere, from St. Mark's Square to the festivals celebrated on the Grand Canal. The mirrors and colors are a kaleidoscopic adventure. A short way inland, the medieval city of Padova. The massive Basilica of St. Anthony stands over the center of the city. Also hearkening back to the 13th century is the University of Padova, where Galileo lectured from this very podium. The inside of Padova's Scrovegni Chapel is covered in frescoes painted by Giotto in 1305. The Palazzo della Red, or Town Hall, is a 13th century architectural marvel. It bustles with activity from morning until night. This area of Italy is also steeped in a centuries-old tradition of pipe organ building. The Basilica of San Petronio in Bologna is home to the oldest surviving pipe organ in Italy. Built some 20 years before Columbus failed to America, the entire 32-foot principal is in the facade, and the organ is still played for services every Sunday. Blossoming out of this ancient tradition is Fratelli Ruffati, Ruffati brothers, distinct pipe organ builders of Padova, Italy. The Ruffati factory has stood in the same place for more than half a century. Within its walls, old world techniques are combined with state-of-the-art technology to create the finest pipe organs in the world. We custom design Rufati pipe organs to the specific needs of each situation. A careful evaluation of the building from architectural and acoustical standpoint and sharing of information and opinions with our prospective customers are the starting point for a comprehensive study of a new instrument. Selecting the best possible location of the various organ divisions, assigning the necessary space inside the organ for maintenance, and designing walkways to reach pipes for tuning are essential issues to be considered, not to mention a rational wind distribution with an adequate number of reservoirs. The aim of our visual studies is to achieve tasteful integration of the organ in the building. An organ design can be sober or striking, simple or elaborate, but it must give the impression that it belongs to the building. We like to give personality to each of our objects and to be creative, to provide decoration with grace and harmony of architectural lines. We want our clients in a position to fully evaluate our design and to do so we use the most updated computer technologies with three-dimensional view and with renderings. These powerful tools enable us to place the image of the newly instrument right into an existing photograph or rendering of the space. and they let us better evaluate the volume of the new organ from various points of view. In a world where every part can be bought from a different supplier, it is the Rufati tradition to manufacture every organ component possible in our own factory. To make pipes, we melt ingots of metal in a crucible, then pour the liquid into the casting trough, which slides down the casting bench to leave the wide, shimmering ribbon of molten metal that will cool into pipe material. The sheet of pipe material is planed to a uniform thickness, then cut to size by a high-precision metal cutting machine.
smaller are still rolled and in the pipe shop. But larger pipes are rolled with the help of one of four machines specially adapted for Rufati for this purpose. The pipe metal has been painted with gum arabic, which will act as a non-stick surface and help guide the solder flow. Once the soldering is finished, the gum arabic is removed from the pipe metal and the resonators are re-rounded. As it has been for centuries, the material for the pipe feet is cut and shaped by hand around a mandrel. The edges are beaten with a piece of wood to bring them into alignment. The alignment is checked and adjusted until it is just right. Then the technician runs a thin bead of solder down the length of the pipe foot to join the two edges. This is high precision work. Even soldering must be done with great care, since the solder and pipe metal have nearly the same melting point. It takes years of a training to become a master pipe maker. At Fratelli Rifati, we make our own reed blocks, starting with the pouring of the metal, which sets up in less than a The blocks are removed from the molds, planed, and fitted to their respective pipe feet. Individual fitting rather than mass casting takes more time, but it makes for superior tuning stability. The reed blocks are milled with a special blade, then drilled to accommodate the shallots and reeds. We use a torque, or screw type, hand press, like those used in ancient times for printing, to shape this shallot from a flat piece of brass. It is further hand shaped, hammered, and crafted to be placed into its reed block, along with a brass reed and tuning wire such as in these huge assemblies for 32-foot contrabombard pipes. Rufati's signature trumpet en chamade pipe resonators are of polished brass and look like real fanfare trumpets. The flared bells, which are shaped in our factory, are attached to the resonators with silver solder to make the joints strong and undetectable. No rounds a facade like these horizontally mounted beauties. Rather than buying our wood from stock, we personally select the trees and oversee their measuring and cutting. These are logs of sipo mahogany from Africa, which is used in Rufati organs for everything from pipes to wind chests to walk boards. Each massive trunk is cut in two pieces lengthwise, then quarter sawn for the straightest grain. The cut boards are placed on spacers to ensure air exposure for all surfaces. They are then stored in the open, just outside the factory, to stabilize and the wood fibers. The wood seasoning goes on for five years, the last part of which takes place inside the factory. Back in the wood shop, boards are cut for the wind chests and tow boards. It's easy to see the particular weight grain of the wood as the boards come past the saw blade. The edges are milled to provide three triangular shaped tongues on one side and three matching grooves on the other to increase the glue surface and provide a more secure bond. The gluing process takes place in a special press. Its high temperature surfaces rapidly extract the water from the glue, making the joint more stable. Our wooden pipes are made from the beautiful straight-grained sipo mahogany. The carefully calculated pipe mouths are worked, shaped, and smoothed by hand. When this process is finished, the entire pipe will be assembled. The different color inside the pipe shows that it has already been varnished for better resonance and stability, much like Antonio Stradivari did with his violins. 
Once the pipe is totally assembled, the outside will be varnished as well. Tongue and groove construction provides the utmost stability for every climate and condition. Wood carving is one of our many specialties at Fritvati. A design sketched on a piece of wood in pencil is transformed by our master craftsmen with knives, chisels, and sandpaper from a two-dimensional thought into a living three-dimensional sculpture. These majestic hand-carved griffins have supported the key desk to this massive six-manual console since 1966. The intricate detail of the hand carving on this console is of more recent vintage. It really comes to life when the stain and finish have been applied.